Well, this evening we're joined by Wal Al Khadi, our, our president. Uh, good evening, Wal, and welcome to this interview. We, we, we're just going to talk really about the stadium or the, the withdrawal of the discussions with UE. And it was a statement that came out of the blue last week, made by Dwayne Sports, not Bristol Rovers Football Club. I think it's important we make that distinction. Perhaps you could enlighten our fans about the distinction between the two. Yeah, sure. I mean, Dwayne Sports is a company that's owned entirely by the family. And Dwayne Sports owns 92% uh, of Bristol Rovers Football Club. Um, uh, Dwayne Sports has invested um, money into, into the club. Um, it's not a loan. It's an investment from uh, the holding company, which is Dwayne Sports, into Bristol Rovers Football Club and it's an intercompany transaction which is just uh, registered as a loan between the two companies which we both own. So there is no third party involved. It is um, an intercompany transaction between our companies. That's all it is. Um, there is a charge on the MEM and uh, we did that as a sensible move to protect our investment, because in the world of business, you never know what could turn up. So you can consider the relationship uh, between Rovers and doing sports <coughs> as um, uh, basically investment, a family investment into, into the club. The decision by doing sports not to carry on negotiating with you, though, impacted greatly on the football club and its supporters, didn't it? Yes, I mean, um, as you very well know, we inherited the stadium situation and we tried our best for the longest time, 18 months, us and uh, our legal advisors, um, to try and come uh, to an agreement uh, with UE. Um, but in the end, unfortunately, and um, you know, um, disappointingly, uh, after all this time, uh, we feel very frustrated uh, that we could not agree terms. I think um, we, were, we were led to believe there was a deadline that UE didn't meet. Um, a deadline for what though? In conditions that you had laid down? Well, um, like I said, 18 months uh, we've been working very hard. We've spent a lot of time and money um, through uh, our legal advisors trying to reach an agreement um, uh, with the other party. Now we were very close in, to reaching uh, an agree agreement with them, uh, but we were finding that the points were being revisited. Um, and we were under the understanding that we had already uh, agreed these points. So with that in mind, um, we set a deadline for July 31st um, for us to agree the very important um, uh, commercial issues uh, between us. Um, we reminded them again, um, closer to the deadline, about uh, 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 the importance of reaching agreement, um, uh, but they did not acknowledge. Um, and you know, the deadline came and passed, and we could not agree um, these important commercial terms to move ahead. We were prepared to move into August, um, having agreed the commercial terms, and get right into the very important intensive work of the stadium. I think the surprising thing then is, after you tell me that, is that UWE, the very next day after the statement by Dwayne Sports, issued their own statement, mm -hmm. effectively saying they were surprised by that decision. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, all I can tell you is that we, in mid-July, we uh, issued the deadline um, with the hope that we would uh, agree the commercial terms uh, by July 31st so that we can go into August uh, full steam ahead into the more intensive work required. Um, at that time, I was in Portugal with Daryl. I showed Daryl the, uh, the emails that went out to UWE with the deadline. Um, we reminded them again and again. Um, uh, Dwayne Sports took the decision that uh, that's it. After the deadline was not acknowledged, I decided um, not to issue the statement uh, for 
at least two or three days with the hope that maybe uh, the situation could be rectified, but again, nothing came forward. It's strange that the news was leaked before your statement went out. There was obviously a mole on one side or another. Well, I mean, we try and, and deal with, uh, with these matters in, in confidentiality, and, and um, uh, it's not our responsibility if, if uh, another side decided to uh, to not act like we do. How close would you say you'd been up until that point, that you and Yui, uh, Dwayne Sports and Yui, in terms of reaching an agreement? Well, for us, we were under uh, the understanding that we had reached agreement on, okay, so on the terms. Uh, however, to... like I said, mm -hmm. points were being revisited, which, which was kind of frustrating, and um, I, I can't really go into details about... Um, what these terms actually mm. are because we respect confidentiality. But um, uh, for, for us, it was uh, about agreeing terms and then points, these terms were revisited. But were you within weeks, months, days of signing a deal, do you think? We were very close, we were very close. But then again, it was like taking one step forward and then four steps backward. An awful lot of money must have been spent by both sides during the 18 months you've been involved with, the, with discussions. Yes, I mean, uh, we, we pursued this issue vigorously and, and we, we, uh, we wanted um, a favourable outcome. But again, because we couldn't ag agree on the commercial terms and we couldn't agree on the commercial terms because we, we are looking out for the best interests of the club. Um, uh, so, so basically that's why, you know, it, it didn't happen. Is there a way back for Dwayne Sports in UE or is it dead in the water? UE is dead in the water. Okay, so what's plan B? Plan B, uh, we always had a fallback plan, and that's uh, to look into um, the regeneration of the Memorial Stadium. We have a beautiful piece of land, um, spacious. Um, uh, I believe there were two planning permissions in the past for the Memorial to be uh, built up into a proper footballing stadium, which offers uh, fantastic facilities for our supporters. That's what we want to do. Our aim is to provide our supporters with um, modern, uh, beautiful f uh, facilities to watch great football. Is the planning permission for the Memorial Stadium still in place or do you have to reapply? Uh, we would have to reply. However, I mean, I've, I keep on hearing that, uh, you know, if you, we, fell through, you're back to, you know, going back to planning, and that's going to take ages. Well, even in the UE situation, we still would have had to go back to planning. So uh, that for us is not a problem. Um, it's something we had to do in, in both cases. How far down the line then have you got with looking at plan B? You say you had that as a fallback. Have any, any plans been issued? Do you know how you would approach redeveloping the map? Well, let me tell you something. I mean, um, th there's a lot of experts around, um, and a lot of people have uh, concluded that um, you know not going for UE was probably the death of the club. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if these people did, did they have previous experience of building football stadiums. I don't know if they do, but we have the best uh, people with the best experience on our side, who have not built one or two or three or four stadiums, they've built 12. We have them um, on our side and they will be looking and exploring um, how we could regenerate the MEM. Um, and uh, I'm fully confident that they will, uh, they will succeed in, in providing what we want. From memory, plan, when planning permission was first granted for the MEM, and again when Sainsbury's came on board, I know it's before your time, but there were a lot of objections from residents, and I would foresee the same sort of objections coming up again should you apply for planning permission. How will you overcome that? Well, I mean, my message to anybody living around the MEM is uh, why don't you have a look and study about um, recent uh, regeneration of stadiums around the world in, in cities and, and um, look how the regeneration of these stadiums have increased the value of their properties. 
um, I mean, the, it's happening everywhere. Why can't it happen here? And um, going back to the subject of, of going uh, to, to UWE, I mean, after the, the t decision was taken, and, and that's it, um, uh, the, the project in UWE um, no longer exists. The feeling I had was okay. At first, it was disappointment and frustration. You know, I feel uh, a lot for the fans because they were expecting, uh, you know, some good news to come, but you know, it ended up in disappointment. So, after that initial phase, I was kind of relaxed uh, because it had the UE gone through. Um, I'm sure some people would not have liked the idea of us playing in a stadium that didn't belong to the club. Yes, it's a 120-year lease. Yes, it's a long time. However, we would have been a nomad club. Uh, to me, you know, once the decision was taken, I felt really comfortable that you know, the club will have a home, and, and this home is the MEM, and we will look into regenerating it to create the best fan experience for our fans. And to me, the feeling is more calm and more relaxed. You mentioned the supporters there. And obviously, there was tremendous disappointment around the place when that decision was announced. Mm -hmm. They've been waiting for a new stadium for goodness knows how long, beyond the eight years it's taken for discussions at UWE. There was, there was talk of redevelopment here. There have been talk of other sites. What would you say to them now? I would say that um, we are determined to, to give them what they want. Um, we, we didn't uh, feel it was in the club's best interest to go th down that path with UWE. Now closure um, has been reached. We will concentrate fully on regenerating the memorial and um, explore how we can deliver what they want. And that's a decision taken by Dwayne Sports yes. on behalf of for the football club's in yes. best interest. Yes. You're very active on social media. We've spoken about that before. Mm -hmm. What reaction have you had personally to that decision since last week? Um, overall, I mean, I, I would, you know, of course, there were some people who are angry, um, and that's understandable. Um, uh, however, you know, I've had a lot of uh, messages from fans that were relieved. Um, I've had a lot of messages from fans that uh, are optimistic. Uh, likewise, I've had a lot of messages from fans that were disappointed. And, you know, <laughs> they're fans, they're passionate, and, and they have every right to, to express their feelings. But my message to them is that, uh, I, you know, I remain one of them. Uh, we are trying to, uh, to resolve this important issue. We, we still believe that this club... Um, the only way forward for it is to, to have a, a nice modern stadium where we can compete. Um, it's a must. It is, and if you're going to be challenging at the top of this league and looking to get in a championship, obviously a, a new stadium or a new environment is, is crucial, isn't it? Because this stadium cannot sustain Well, I mean, if, you've look, if you look at what we've done over the past uh, 18 months, I mean, don't forget what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, we're doing everything we can to, to produce a team that's competitive on the pitch. And uh, if you are competitive on the pitch, everything else will follow. The most important thing is to um, have a team that is competing. Uh, we've built up uh, the first team, we've created a development squad, we've strengthened the, um, the academies up to the uh, 18s. Um, training ground, uh, we, we, we are still waiting for planning permission to go through. Once that goes through, we will start working on the training ground. Um, so, so obviously, naturally, these things take time and everybody at the club understands that and everybody is moving together in, that, in one direction. Can, can I just ask, so many rumours flying about on social media about your Dwayne Sports withdrawing the funding from the football club, the training ground not going ahead. Can you allay supporters' fears that that is not going to happen? Well, I mean, um, if you look at what we have done over the last 18 months, it kind of contradicts what these rumours are implying. 
Um, they're, they're out there nevertheless, though, aren't they? Well, in, in business, I mean, if, if there is a dispute, it doesn't mean that, you know, there's no funding. It could mean any, uh, any other thing that, you know, if it's a contractual thing, um, maybe people haven't been paid for a certain reason. I mean, um, the issue about funding, um, you know, it's just a rumour, so. Okay. Do you, the Memorial, St Memorial Stadium then is plan B. You're going to press on with redeveloping the MEM. Do you, do you have a time scale in mind? Um, time scale is that very soon um, we'll reconvene and we will try and, and create a structure for, for this uh, project to, to function on its own uh, with our legal advisors, with our um, project managers to get, uh, uh, to get an account of all you know, what's needed um, and uh, move forward.